Right, we've got, a, we've got an awesome chicken dish for you today. So we've got honey garlic crunchy chicken. See, I can't say that very quickly, but I love the sound <laughs> of it. Honey garlic crunchy, crunchy chicken. chicken. No, it's okay. going to be great. So what have we got, got in there? Right, so we look at all these spices here. Herbs and spices. We've got some chilli in there, some cumin. Just one moment. Two, four, six, eight. So, no, we're about nine short. <laughs> That's for KFC. So 11 herbs and spices, isn't it? <laughs> Something like that. But this is going to be better. So we're not deep frying it today. Okay. So we're going to make a beautiful coating and we're going to pan fry it and get it nice and crunchy. Nice and thin, so they're almost going to be like escalops. And then we've got this beautiful honey sauce, which we're going to glaze it and it's going to be great. Mm, I cannot wait to help you out with this one. Look, so where do we start? Right, so we're going to make our batter first. Mm -hmm. So this is going to, what's going to make our um, chicken nice and crunchy. Cool. So I'm going to start off some flour. Just your bog standard yeah, flour? Just, yep. just bog standard flour. We've got some um, black pepper, some salt. You know, you've got some cayenne pepper, some paprika. Hey, look at all that. Look at, and you'll, you'll mm. see it's uh, nutmeg, um, some oregano, and some rosemary as well. Alrighty. And we've also got some um, ginger. So what, um, I guess, is the origin of this recipe in terms of its flavours? Well, I mean, you know, everyone does crunchy chicken and, yep. and battered chicken, and there's, you know, there's so many different types of, of ways of doing it, you know, marinating your chicken, putting buttermilk in there, mm -hmm. putting the flowers, different spices in here. So it's, a, it's just another take on, on the, um, you know, on the, on the fried chicken, cool. but just something different. And as I said before, we're just gonna, we're gonna pan fry it. Yep. So we're gonna keep that oil con content down. And we're not gonna use any buttermilk today. I've got a splash of water in there and put a couple of eggs in here. So why the water first? Oh, it just helps to loosen down the batter. Okay. And then so whisk it all together so it's nice and loose and nice and thin. Yep. So it's going to get us a nice thin thin batter. If it's too thick, you know, it's going to get nice and... Well, it depends what you want. If it's too thick, it's going to get nice and clumpy. Sure. But it'll give you a yep. really crispy batter, which is good as well, you know, yep. so it depends on how you want to eat it. Right. Okay, so that wasn't much at all, like you've literally no, no, just, just got a, some just bubbles on the top there. Yeah, yep. whisk it all together, cool. we've got our spice mix here, and you know, you can do any ingredients in there and any flavours you want in there. Cool. Okay, right, chicken breasts, so I'm going to take the skin off, mm -hmm. get rid of that. Right, and what we want to do now is we're going to bash it out, but what makes it easier, if you just take some nice slices, so if you cut it on an angle and get sort of three slices, two or three slices out of your chicken breast, you can uh, then get some cling wrap, mm -hmm. pop it on your board, pop that on there, and then put another one on top, nice and carefully, and then get a pan, and then gently bash it. I could go for this. You Just could do that. You want to do that. I can see you want to do that. <laughs> yep. It's brilliant. I can hear someone no, no. say, gently, in my earpiece. <laughs> And, and look what you've got now. So, you, you it's know, it's like you've, schnitzel. It is, it is like schnitzel. So, you know, and that's great, you know, and that's going to cook really fast. So, we're going to get, right. so we can use a higher heat. It's going to get nice and fast. And if you think it's a little bit too big, just cut it down again. Great. And then that goes in the flour. Right, so we're just sort of coating that in there? Yeah, so just a light coating and then take the excess off. So, give it a real good shake. So, you just want a, a really light coating now. Yeah, give it a little bash together, that's it. And then you can pop it through your egg mix. Just sort of pop and make, yeah, make sure it's all coated and then drain your excess um, egg mix off. Draining. Yep, yeah, that's it. And then back into the flour. Oh, okay, that's the tricky bit. So you, so you can uh -oh. see you've got, you've got seasoned flour, yep. egg mix, more seasoned flour, so you're building it up. Okay. It smells good. Those spices smell good already, so I reckon they're going to be magnifique oh. by the time. Oh, there's a bit that needs a bit more. <laughs> <laughs> And then once you've once you've done that, you know, pop it on your pop it on a plate, pop it on your board till you're yep. all ready to go. So would you suggest that perhaps I may have just used where's the plate that we're popping this on? No, you can put it pop, pop it back on the board, yeah. Should I perhaps just use one hand to avoid myself uh, looking like um, I do? <laughs> yeah. You know who you look like now? Uh, go on. Mike please. Peru. <laughs> That's a compliment. You know, we've got the most amazing Beko kitchen appliance bundle to be won with our Christmas competition. I'm very jealous of this, actually. We'll tell you more about that soon, but first, we need to finish off this chicken. What are we going to do next, Mark? Right, so we've got the coated chicken, which is beautiful. Great job there, Braden. Um, I've got a pan here, and I've got some oil in there. We're not deep frying, but no. you need a little bit more oil than just normal, just to ensure you get a nice, crusty, um, 
you know, crunch on the outside. And in of terms chicken. of temperature, where are we going with this? Right, so we're going to do uh, definitely sort of medium to high. All mm -hmm. right. So chicken's nice and thin, so we can have that temperature in there. One, once it's nice and crusty and crunchy and golden on both sides, the chicken should be done. Right. So. You know, you get your pan on, put the oil in, and then give it another 30 seconds for the oil to uh, warm up. And then oh. you can just uh, just test one and just sort of dab a little corner in, and you should just be able to get like a little sizzle little. and a bit of bubble. There you go, so Sass. we're good. And we're in. We're good to go, you can pop them in. And um, so just make sure you don't overcrowd the pan. So probably four to five bits in there, you know, it's gonna be maximum, probably four bits actually, because it's quite big, you know. Give, give all the chicken some space. Um, Cook it, you know, it won't take long to cook. Come Two on. or three minutes um, on both sides. Uh, and then a, a good tip as well, you know, we've got the bubble, it's cooking, but because we put all that chicken in the pan now, I'm just gonna turn it up and give it a little bit right. more heat just to get up to that heat and then turn it down again. So we're, we're cooking on that medium to high Tell heat. Tell you what, these smells are really, really good. I'm looking forward to trying this. And it's really quick as well. And yeah. you can do this all ahead of time if you wanted, you right. know. Ideally, it's best to do it straight out of the, um, you know, flour into mm. the pan. But if you have to, if you're going to do it for a lot of people and they're watching the uh, football or so yeah. or the rugby, um, get all that done and then you can just fry them off and, and it, you know, it's really, really fast. In my case, we're probably, pro probably all sitting around watching cat videos, but that's OK. <laughs> but uh, what goes around. with it? Right, so now we're going to make the sauce. So I've got, there's three garlic cloves there. You know, so quite a bit of garlic. Yeah. So I've uh, chopped it up. Still left it like nice and chunky, mm. you know, so we get that in there into a pot, mm. got a little bit of oil in there. And what we want to do now is just sort of cook the uh, garlic. So I'm gonna give that a minute or two, just cooking. Control that heat as well, sort of like a, a low to sort of medium heat. You want the garlic bubbling like that and you'll be able to smell it. It's gonna release right. all those flavors in a minute. So I'm just looking at quickly at these. Yeah, beautiful. to see a golden. So is it time to turn, do you think? Or? Yeah, yeah I, would, I would flip that now. Flip it over. So you flip it over. Great. And mm. Even if you just, you know, you just feel that now, you can feel it's nice and crispy. Just be careful because that's what's hot. Uh, yeah, you, yeah but, you know, you can it's feel it. Crispy. I mean, you can see <laughs> that. So I'm going to turn the uh, oil down a little bit now because we've oh. got that, we've got that nice sizzle. Gosh, so, that garlic's really making its presence felt now. <laughs> yeah, no, no, it is. <laughs> it's all about the chicken, but now it's all about the garlic. Yeah. So keep cooking it until you get all those aromas out there. Don't want any colour on this. Right. But, you know, a little bit will be all right, but you don't want to burn this. And it can go quite quickly, can't it? It can go quite yeah, quickly because yeah. you've got high sugar content in there. Right. Okay. So I reckon that's really good now. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop the honey in there. So decent dollop of honey yeah, in there. Yeah, good bit of honey. So this is going to give you some sweetness. Is there a particular, you know, do you go for any sort of honey, you know, the sort of that $300 a jar Manuka honey or something like that? Or <laughs> I mean, if you're that lavish, you, you, can, uh, no, you can do I'm that. I'm joking. But does it matter? No, no, it doesn't matter. It's, I mean, you know, you can use your favourite honey in there. Um, because we're adding lots of other flavours to it, it's probably best to, to buy a sort of a, a, you know, a cheaper end honey or just yep. a plain honey, like a clover honey. Um, if you really like Manuka, you can put it in there. But because we're adding lots of flavours, it's, it's a shame to spend sure. so much money on that. Absolutely, um, no. Then doing it. And this is just soy and sauce, And that's some soy sauce as well. Great. So soy sauce goes in there, honey's in there, the garlic, so really simple, three ingredients in there. Bring it up to the boil, turn it down, and then we're going to simmer it for about 10, 15 minutes. And it will just go nice and, uh, nice and thick and glazed. Once the chicken comes out, drain it off, glaze it up, good to go. Yum. Now the full list of ingredients and the recipe is on our website, so you can make this at home. Look at that, just glazing it now in that beautiful sticky sauce. And there we have it, a copper chicken. <laughs> copper chicken! Who doesn't want that? Yum.